Hi, it's Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm here with another user request, and this user would like help remodeling this home, which is already a beautiful home, uh, but they would like help with replacing the windows and roof only. So they are not doing a full exterior remodel. They don't want to reinvent the style of this home. They just want to see what a new roof and new windows would look like, and that makes sense. This roof looks a little bit weathered, um, and so a new roof and new windows would really make this house look amazing. Um, so I'm going to jump into how I would go about doing that. Let me switch over to my app real quick and I'm going to jump into the exterior editor. That's because we're going to be doing several edits and it's easier in the editor. I went ahead and downloaded this image to my Google Drive so let me load this image. The first thing I'm going to do is actually remove the basketball goal. Uh, as beautiful as that is, it's going to make the rest of the process easier. This is on top of the roof, in front of the roof. Um, so real quick, I'm going to jump into Tools, Replace, and I'm going to say, get, I'm going to replace this basketball post with nothing. So just mask it out. And again, don't spend too much time making this perfect. You could describe what to replace it with, like a post and garage door, because there's a post behind it. But I'm just going to click Generate and see what happens. Now, realistically, it's going to remove it because if you asked a person not showing them that area of the photo to draw that in, they would probably not put a basketball post. They would probably just put a garage door in a post, and that's exactly what the AI has done. So let's look at these real quick. I like this one the best. The post looks pretty good. It got the garage door texture correct, so let's accept that. So just a quick hack to kind of improve your results, step one and step two. So now we're going to go about changing the roof and the windows. And to do that, we're going to use the reskin tool. Now that allows you to basically reskin a certain area of the photo. Reskin is a little bit different than replace in the sense that it actually will keep the existing 3D structure, which we want in this case because when we're replacing the roof, we want it to keep the existing roof's shape. Um, so we're going to hit reskin, and we're going to go here, and we're going to mask out all the existing roof. Again, don't spend too much time making this perfect. In fact, you do want to cover everything and make sure you do more than necessary. So if you missed a certain area, like let me use an eraser and say I missed that, that's bad because the AI will see that color and see that roof and will likely match it even if you instruct it to do otherwise. Uh, so make sure you cover everything. something like that. You could go back here with the eraser and say, well, I don't want to replace all this sky. You know, you could do a little bit more work. Oops, I missed a couple areas. Like we don't want to replace all that brick. And then let me go back and fix those couple areas right here. Where was it? Right here, right here. So make sure you get all this. This is okay. This is the underside of the roof. I think that's good enough. Um, Let's give this a try right there, maybe. And let's just say dark shingle roof, a new roof. So, you know, essentially we want likely something the same. I think that matches the style of the house. It just looks really weathered. Uh, this probably is a place that gets a lot of sun and weather. And this has a more consistent look to it. I like the little bit of that one's probably the best. Anyway, you can play a lot of time with these different prompts to get different things, including metal roofs and um, shaker roofs and all sorts of different things. So, you know, spend some time experimenting and figure out what you like. Once you're done, you find something you like, click accept there. Now we're going to repeat this process. So we got one, one, two, three. We're going to repeat this process with reskin on the windows. This is one of my favorite things to do. The last home I did, I did in black windows, and I absolutely loved it. I think I'm never going to go back to white windows again. It doesn't work on every house, though, so you have to kind of try it um, and see what you like. But I do think it will work on this house. So I'm basically going to say reskin all these windows. I think I got them all. Those we don't want to replace. I think that's good enough. So 
Did I cover all the pixels? Yes. Uh, you could just say something like black windows. Um, and it understands that windows are transparent. So when you say black windows, it means the framing on the windows. But you can, again, be creative, try different things. You can put long prompts here, describe whatever you want. Um, sometimes it takes some experimenting to get the AI to do what you want. Um, but I've done windows enough to know that black windows usually works. It's not gonna paint the windows black, it's gonna paint the actual frames black. Um, that actually kind of extended the stone, that filled it in with stone, which is not what we want. Um, let me see if I missed a little bit there. So it's not wanting to change the colors. Let me just give it more area to work with. So I probably missed the picture too, because it kind of gave it the same existing color. When in doubt, give it more area to work with. Let's just try black windows again. You could try black frame windows. You could try all sorts of things. That's more of a brown, but I do like that. I actually like that more. And that's getting a little closer to what it might look like. That's the wrong color. That's decent, but it's still brown, But and that's closer to what we want. I prefer this over the existing. Um, I think it looks much better. It did change the shape here, um, so you'd have to continue to play with that. But you can replace one window at a time as well. There's nothing to say you have to do them all at the same time. Um, so actually, let me show you how to do that. So let's say we really like this one, except I could use the blend tool to fix, and basically the blend tool allows you to go back to the previous layer. So I would say, I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna paint the previous layer here because it messed that up. That's good enough, except that. So here's our evolution. One, two, three, four. And then I could say, I wanna reskin this again. Just this image, just this window. I'm gonna keep that brick exposed because it, it was replacing that brick for some reason, or that stone. So let's try that. And I can just use the same prompt I did before. It filled in those windows. I like that, but it filled in these other windows, which is not what we want. I can turn the fidelity up to say, you know, you need to match it a little more closely.
I like that. Again, it filled in the middle window, which is not what we want. Uh, but again, you know what we could do here, say we like that one, accept that one. Go back to the blend tool again, say, well, we need these windows back. Click accept and then reskin again on just these two windows. So you can repeat this process as many times as you want to get what you want. You probably don't even need to give it a prompt this time because it's going to match the existing window more or less, would be my guess. really likes filling in with brick. There we go. I just finally kept them. I mean, it really just likes to fill in that solid area with stone. And then you could continue this process as many times as you like. Um, I would probably replace these posts just to, the, the wood looks really weathered. Probably the same with the garage door, you know, just a stain job essentially. Uh, visually would make this house really pop. Some of these shingles really need, you know, you can see how much sun this house gets here for the discoloration between here and here. Um, so a lot of sun, a lot of weather, but really a beautiful house. And then when you're finally done with doing all those processes over and over again, you know, you can see your whole process here to replace the windows and whatnot. And then I would go to resize upscale. Now you don't want to change this house too much. So I would use a creative upscaler, but I wouldn't, I would turn the strength way down because you don't essentially want to change. This controls how much new details are added when you upscale this image. But by upscaling, you're fixing all these small borders that came from all the different operations you did. So from then I zoom back out, this is your final result, which is a little bit cleaner. So a lot of those areas where you saw borders from where we did edits and things have all disappeared. So that'll give you an idea of how you can go about replacing specific areas and playing with different things as options on homes. And hopefully that will help in your quest to remodel this home. Thank you.